Three silver dollars are going to travel from one hand to the other hand, invisibly, at the speed of light. Everybody watching closely? From here to here. Did you see that one go? It was invisible. I'll do it again. From here to here. Should I slow this down a little bit? Yeah. I'm going to do it so slow you can see how it's done. <laughs> Did you see that one go? That's really weird. You know why? It didn't go yet. You see, if you want that last coin to go, you give it a shake up, and there it is, three silver dollars, and you got it. Now, are we ready for the big finale, or do you guys want to see one more quick one before the big finale? It's up to you. All right, we're going to do one more quick one before the big finale. Ladies and gentlemen, these are what the cards look like before you put the ink on them. They have no fronts. They have no backs unless you think of a card. Now suppose for just a moment I think of the nine of spades, I can make it real. Not only the front, but the back too. Of course, if I erase that card from my mind, it disappears from the deck. Now I can think of another card. I can think of the king of hearts. Or how about the three of hearts? Or maybe the seven of sp How about I think of a whole deck? All the fronts, all the backs, I can almost create the illusion that there is indeed an entire deck of cards. Yeah! yeah. But this is just an illusion. And if I let my mind go blank, as it generally is, the entire deck goes blank. has ever done before or wanted to for that matter I am going to combine the classic poetry of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven with the mystery of the linking rings but you know what I'd like to ask you guys standing in front of the vendors booth if you would come in a little bit just give them enough room to do some business while we're performing anyways thank you very much there you go ladies and gentlemen I should also take a, a brief moment to introduce myself. My name is Tom Frank. I'm a street performer. What this means, folks, is when you see us out here every day, we're not being paid by anyone to be here, and usually our shows have been brought to you strictly by your own generosity. So if you like the show and you got a sensation after the ring trick, please make a donation. I know I would. <laughs> and remember, folks, the more you give, the better I live. <laughs> My wife and I have many children, more each day, so keep that in mind. So without further ado, for your entertainment pleasure and cultural edification, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven and the Mystery of the Linking Rings. <laughs> This mystic feat I now perform with solid steel in rounded form, a quaint and curious problem from an oriental shore. All rings solid, disconnected, doing things quite unexpected, linked together intersected, now they show themselves once more separated as before. This linking problem makes one think, what is it that makes these solids link? Perhaps there is a weak spot in these linking rings of yore. Or perhaps a slight incision, quite unseen by human vision. But I've come to a decision. They really weren't linked before. Imagination. Nothing more. First you hear a gentle tapping, then a sharp and steely snapping. These weird metallic rings are linked and apart once more. Now this sudden interlinking sets me quickly now to thinking that perhaps I have been drinking <laughs> and only imagined I saw the solid rings linked before. 
rock-solid rings that seem enchanted, linked together, then disbanded, more amazing, mystic, weird than anything you've seen before. Linked together, intersected, in a chain, then disconnected, parting when it's least expected, linking, clinking evermore, then separated, as before. And now to finish, as is fitting, while you watch, relaxed and tipping, I take these weird and mystic five, these oriental rings of yore, I hold them so all disconnected, now once more the unexpected, with a squeeze they're intersected, still a mystery evermore. one thought they say a performer is only as good as his audience if that's true then today I was great <laughs> but when I turn my hat inside out it's as empty as can be now I'd like all of you to join in sympathy now some of you will walk away whether it be night or day walk away from the crowd she didn't have to pay but hey I didn't leave when you guys got here. <laughs> Besides, guilt is a terrible thing. So if you can give, give, if you can't give, give back. I could have been your kid. Wow, a $5 bill on Trendsetter. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow, Yay! thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy the Buster Festival. Make sure you tip all the Busters. Right on. All right. By the way, folks, all your contributions are indeed tax-free. Heck, I pay no That's taxes. That's amazing, that's right, money, money stinks for a lot of money in this world. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. So is my landlord. There you go. No penalty for late payment.